Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, we'll be working on an air conditioner. Um, with the thermostat off, when the customer kicks the breaker on, you can hear the compressor run. We get no fan action, so we're gonna see what's up with it. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take this box out of here so we can. Uh, that was the next move. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing left. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the cover off this box so we can see what's going on here. Need light. Nah, and I'm actually going to have to take this box out of here, this control box, and uh, pull the cover off it completely so I can see, do some testing. All right, we got it boxed down. Now we got to get all these screws out of it so we can access the guts of it. All right, so we know the compressor runs because we can hear it running. So what I am going to do is I'm actually going to unplug the compressor for right now, right out of the relay. And we're going to cut the power back on. And I'm going to use a jump wire to see if the fan will even run. On the thermostat? Yeah. It would kick off. Oh, will it? Yeah. Okay, you didn't tell me that. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't tell me that. Customer didn't inform me that the fan would actually run. So we're actually just gonna change out this control box. And this is an old analog box. So we're gonna have to go with a newer digital one. So we'll get to see that. So let me go grab a new control box and uh, we'll get started. So we're just gonna switch out this control box because since we, when we cut the breaker on, even with the thermostat, on in the off position, then it's got to be in this control box. So, uh, so we have our brand new one. Also comes with a thermostat, a little wiring harness. Now this is kind of where this gets tricky. It's because our old box has got one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, eight control wires and a power and a ground. We're gonna be reducing that to a power and a ground and two control wires. So y'all pay attention, this is where it gets tricky. I am actually gonna go over to the wall and I am gonna unhook the old thermostat. You don't need to see that, I'm just going over. I take the cover off and uh, uh, just unhook all the control wires. Okay, so we got all six of the wires unhooked out of the thermostat. Now we're gonna start wiring in our, our new uh, wiring harness. Gotta go grab some little orange wire nuts. We're gonna start with the power for the thermostat. Do you need to start with the power from the thermostat for the thermostat? No, that's just where I'm starting. One of these is marked power to the thermostat. Full volt to the thermostat. So we're gonna hook that to the red wire here. All right. Then we are going to not be using the white wire. So I'm gonna just get it out of the way. Not gonna be using the brown wire. Well, we might use the brown wire. The, the green wire with the digital thermostat, you have to supply uh, ground to the thermostat. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make the green wire our ground for the thermostat. We're gonna hook that into our, into our main ground back here. So there's our, there's our power and our ground going to the old box. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip the ground wire off. And then we're gonna take our ground wire on our new harness, hook that to this ground wire, plus our little green wire that's gonna be going to the thermostat. So we've got three, three wires that are grounds here now. All 
All right. Now, you need to notice which, which wires your blue ones are hooked to coming out of the box. The two blue wires coming out of the box, that is your furnace. That's the control circuit for the furnace. So for that, they give us two little spade connectors that go on those and hook to the new control box. After you've done a couple hundred of these, they're pretty simple. But that first one, <laughs> that first one can be a doozy because there's no instructions for any of this. Actually, I'm gonna go get my good Klein strippers. Uh, there's a link in the, my Amazon, there's a link in, below for my Amazon store. Go check out those Klein strippers. I'm gonna go get those. They're so much better on these little bitty wires. Klein. Those are my favorite strippers right now. Focus. There you are. Uh, yeah, kind of funny yesterday, guy, just kind of out of the blue, he's like, uh, what kind of strippers do you like? I'm like, well, I prefer blondes. <laughs> he said, no, wire strippers, that's all. Now, I don't go to strip clubs. I was just making a funny, but I just thought it was funny how he, just out of the blue, he's like, what kind of strippers do you like? It just struck me as funny. I had to say something smart. <laughs> I didn't have any choice. <laughs> when somebody when somebody gives you an opportunity like that, you gotta take it. Just let's face it, folks. If you're not having fun, you know, you're doing something wrong. I had a viewer just the other day say, why are you crimping on? ends on those little solid wires he said that'll never work i'm like well i'm doing it because i've been doing it for a long long time and i've never had an issue so to that viewer that's what i answered him but uh i'll tell you all the same thing you know if it works you can't hardly argue with it all right so those will be plugged in here in a minute that's for our furnace now we got two more wires to do here. We got our hot wire, our 12 volt positive. Go ahead and snip it off the box here, old box. Yeah, these, these Klein strippers are far superior to those old Craftsman that I use a lot. I've had a lot of different strippers in my career and them, them's the best ones yet. All right, so let's get all these wires over on the same side. Now here's our power, our 12 volt power for a control box, for all of our controls actually. Now the only one left is the orange wire off this new harness. That's our communication wire. So we're just going to pick one of these. I think we're going to do brown. If there's an orange available, I usually do the orange, but there's no orange. So we're going to do the brown is going to be our communication wire. Or COM for short. Sure hope this audio is working because this is a brand new camera and it does not display the audio. So I'm assuming the audio is working, but I don't know for sure. Just unplug our upper unit. We know our power is off over here. Two more control wires to cut loose here. Now I'm just gonna get our 110 volt or AC wires undone. Like I said, I know the power is off on this because we cut the breaker off. And if it ain't off, I'm gonna see me jump here in a minute. As my heart is restarted. Yay. No electricity.
pull it out there's our old box here's our new one get the, get the cover off of it and inside we just have our standard white black and green 110 volt wires so we're going to hook those to our existing wiring in the camper just use the wire nuts we took off the other one to make these connections black to black white to white green to bare if you're hearing a little hum in the background which i hope you are because i hope the audio is working uh that's a that's a fan that's running in here because pretty warm day here in southern west virginia and without that fan i believe me and the customer would be melting right now so if the sounds bother you sorry we're not cutting it off though all right those connections are complete tug 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 they're all good stuff them down in here I'll go ahead and put the cover back on this we're done in there all right so now all of our connections here are done uh, we just have to plug this in plug our our upper unit into our control box now all these extra wires we're going to leave these here i usually just double them back and just wrap them right around this cable and that way if we ever need uh you know if we have a wire in this harness go bad somewhere along the line there's extra wires already run okay so now we're going to go over to the thermostat i'm gonna have to see if i can find a place to set y'all up over here so there's the only place to put three wires in this new thermostat this digital thermostat so we are going to use anybody remember what color red it's our 12 volt green is our ground and brown is our communication so all the others just like we did up top we are going to just wind them around and leave them right here in case we need them in the future so they won't bother a thing here So the ground is on the far left. Let me get, a, let me get my pliers here. So we're going to take our green wire, which is our ground, because we designated it as ground. We're going to put in that terminal on the left that's marked ground. And little wires are really small my eyeballs are getting old so we're just going to snug that up give it a little tug all right it's good for some reason that camera just cut itself off i don't know what that was all about i don't know when it cut off hope it wasn't 10 minutes ago um, i'm gonna leave you all hanging right there i'm gonna go plug in the control box we should get a display light oh i love it when that happens all right the only thing we got left over here to do is put our free sensor in there and there's no way i can show you that because it's just uh this little end right here just goes inside the coils up here and it's mostly done by the braille method so just uh, stick that in between two fins point it down at like a 45 degree angle and just shove it in there and then it plugs into our control box right there it's the only little two pin connector on there all right now 
we're going to hook up our two furnace wires that we put the spade connectors on. They go into our control box. You'll, you'll see that. It's the only place they'll go. And we're going to hook up our upper unit to our control box. I'm going to flip the breaker on and we'll see what happens. There's high fan. There's low fan. Now we're going to try cool. And the compressor just came on. Could you hear it? I hope you can hear anything. So, yeah, she ought to cool. Now we're going to just try the furnace. We don't need no heat today, but we're going to have to try it. I know y'all really not gonna be able to see, but I'm gonna run through the thermostat for you guys and for the customer. Um, yeah, with this thermostat in the off position, if you touch the up and down arrow, that's your room temperature since it's 86 in here. Um, so now to change from where you used to have a little slide switch to go from off to cool to, to uh, furnace, do it right here with the mode. And this is a touch pad. Don't push it. Just touch it. And th they're not the best. Sometimes you have to touch it three or four times to get it to do one thing. But don't push on it. Because if you push it, it's done. This thermostat will never work again. That's, I know, it's crazy. But you just touch the mode. And uh, we'll go. That's the fan. So let's go to low. There's a delay. Then the fan will come on. That much of a delay. Now, if we go to high, there's a delay. The fan will cut off, and then it will switch to high. But everything you do on this thermostat, there's a delay. All right. We're going to go to auto on the fan, and then we're going to go to cool. There's cool. Set at 72 degrees. There's a delay. Fan will come on. Then there's a more of a delay, and the compressor will come on. You'll probably hear it. There's the compressor. So it should be cooling. Um, I want to show you the. There's something really important here I need to show you. So I'm going to go back to off. The blank, the, the screen is blank and there's a little bitty off down there that you can't hardly see when it's an off. So we'll let this, let this shut down. All right. Now, this thing's set up where when you run the furnace, if you want, you can have this fan come on and it will help circulate the hot air near the ceiling. It's a really good idea, but most people just can't put up the noise. Because it's okay when you're getting cold air out of it, but when it's just circulating air, people can't stand the noise. But uh, you can either, you know, you know, you can do it either way. So what you do is go to fan. If you leave it in auto, then that fan will not run with the furnace. But if you put this on either of the speeds, we'll put it on low. And then we'll go to furnace. We have to run that temperature up to about 90. And you'll hear that uh, the fan comes on in the air conditioner with the furnace. The furnace, and the, they both came on at the same time. And if your fan's on high, and it's going to run yeah, in high. Have it on the speed, low or high right. before but now if you put it on auto, then the furnace works all by itself. It does not turn this fan on in the air conditioner. So I don't think we need any more heat in here today. I'll just run this back down to a normal temperature. Go back to off. 
the furnace takes a while for it to go through its cool down cycle but it will go off there in a minute so we're going to put this uh, we're going to go back to fan we're going to put it on auto uh, just because the fan will actually uh, it'll go on and off at, with the air conditioner we're going to go back to cool we're on 72 we're just going to make sure it's going to cool good while we finish buttoning up uh, all we have to do all we have to do is just put our control box back up in the uh, in the air conditioner and uh, we'll call this one good. Well, there you have it. There's changing a, your Dometic analog control for the new digital one. I thought we was going to get the diagnose that thing, but as soon as I found out the, the fan did run, I knew exactly what was wrong then at the control box. Uh, there's a relay that got stuck in there somewhere, probably the compressor relay. So. We got her switched out. It's cooling like a champ. I'm going on to the next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, leave me a comment, criticism, concern. Uh, check out my link in the description for the Amazon store. And uh, if there's anything you need down there, go get it. And uh, uh, I've had a lot of people here in a very recent future. I've had a lot of people here in the last few weeks comment on videos and like, man, you saved me thousands of dollars and you know thank you so much you know y'all could y'all could go to my patreon link or the paypal link and show me a little bit of love um because yeah i mean i have fun doing these videos i get paid a little bit from youtube but uh y'all could help out a little bit too if you wouldn't mind you don't have to but if you don't mind do that i'm gonna go down the road and fix another one y'all have a fantastic day